We also have the ability to stabilize video. Now the piece of video I have is a standard def piece of video. So I'm going to go down to a standard def project here. Make a new project. We'll go ahead and say we want to be NTSC 484 by 3. That's great. And go. Now we can bring in our piece of footage. And uh, we can see that this is shaking quite a bit. And we have a script in here for stabilizing the video. So you simply select the video, select the script, and hit perform. And it's going to go ahead and stabilize the video for you and create a real-time playback. So it's not going to render it. It's actually going to move the video, keyframe the video in real time to stabilize it for you. Now we play that back. We can see our video is much more stable than it was in the original. We also have several wizards, and the first one is Cut to Music, probably my favorite one in all of the tool shed. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. We're going to find a piece of audio that we want to work with, and we'll go ahead and bring in this piece of audio. And I want to put markers on the audio, so in order to do that, again, I'm going to go ahead and play it, and while it's playing, I'm going to hit the M key, and each time I hit the M key, it's going to put down a marker. So I'm going to try and put down markers to the beat of the music. Now, I didn't do the whole piece of music. I just wanted to put some markers in here to give us an idea of what we're going to be working with. And now we want to find some video to work with. And I happen to have some video that was created with Lightwave. And these are some Lightwave scenes that are from the show Dogfights. And we're going to go ahead and use these to do our edit to music. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the first one, grab the last one. Let's go ahead and bring them in. And you can see that they definitely don't match up to our markers at all right now. So to get these to match up to the markers, we simply click on the audio clip. We say, cut to the music and perform. You can see that my video has snapped right in. Now, I didn't have enough of these clips to fill it all. So just to show you, I'll just bring in a few more here. Let's click on this and perform on those. So we have all of our video now. Let's go ahead and trim off to the last one. Perfectly matched to the beat of the music. And not only that, but we can also go in and we can hit Alt F and we can add crossfades and it doesn't change any of the timing. So it's now perfectly fit to the beat of the music with crossfades happening. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. That looks cool, but what if I want to be able to go back now and specify the portion of the clip that's going to play back? Again, if we go up and look at the storyboard right now, you're going to see that there's a lot of video that's not being used from some of these clips, and I can specify which area is going to be used by using slip and slide. Go ahead and blow this up, and I can hold down Shift and Alt, and I can move the in point and the out point at the same time. So I can specify not the duration of the clip, that stays the same, just what portion of the clip is going to play. And again, there's a lot of video in here that I can play around with and get the exact look that I want. Maybe I want this one to start right when that plane's coming around. And again, some of these got repeated, so maybe I'll use different portions of the clip to try and get a different look.
go ahead and see what that looks like. Within the tool shed, we also have the ability to do a backup of a project. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Project Backup, and now I can click a destination for the project. And I'm going to come out and just create a directory where I want to save the project to. I'm going to go to Content, and I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder and call it uh, Project Backup. And that's where I'm going to want to save the project and we'll go ahead and say select and perform and you'll see that every piece of content used in the project all the audio video stills uh, the project file itself are all then backed up to that external directory or wherever you have specified you want that project backed up to now this project could be easily put up onto a shelf and then reloaded at any time to make any sort of changes if you try and load a speed edit project and it doesn't find all of the content, you'll see the icons load up with red outlines around them, and this is telling us that we haven't found these files. Now, this could be because we backed up a project to an external drive, and then took that drive to another machine, and when it was mounted, it got mounted with the wrong drive letter. So one easy way to fix this problem is to go to the Preferences window, and you can use the Missing File Search Path, and simply go ahead and point this to wherever the content is and as long as it's in the same directory structure that it was when the uh, project was originally backed up then all your files will be found and the project will rebuild itself.